Hunter. All right, so we pick up right where we left off in the forest with Tanjiro calling the ISO on his fat forehead demon the size of Kevin Hart. And Tanjiro was on his <laughs> ass. So that his Hall of Fame chase down artist badges maxed out. And just like a child predator in Walmart, Tanjiro catches Hantangu lacking, went straight for the dome, <laughs> going at this man's head like a lumberjack. And Hantangu don't know what to do. He's just screaming to the sweet Lord Jesus that Plot will somehow bail him out the situation. Not this time, buddy, all pal. But it's not looking too good for the boy because it seems like Tanjiro is well on his way to sending this nigga to go moonwalk with Michael Jackson. But before he can even finish the job, he gets interrupted by the big drop D block stepper of all demons, Duke Dennis. What? Oh, fuck. And Tanjiro didn't even have to turn around to know he fucked up. He can just feel the back shots of this man's aura penetrating every fiber of his being. No Hancho! Hancho! What's happening, bro? What's happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You just said a lot there. Feel the back shots to this man's aura penetrating every fiber of his being. No diddy. So bro just starts sweating. You can't bro, say like no diddy after that. Up a flight of stairs and immediately shits himself. What is that? Something's, Something's behind me. Joy, anger, sorrow, pleasure. This doesn't smell like any of them. What do I do? So Tanjiro's mid-swing facing the hardest decision of his entire life. The universe basically gave this man the ultimate ultimatum and was like, Hey Tanjiro, you're four inches deep inside of Zendaya, but LeBron's four inches deep inside of you. Are you moving forward or backwards? What type of question is that? Are you moving forward or backwards? What, like what? What does that mean? You're four inches inside Zendaya. LeBron Big James is four inches inside you. Are you moving forward or backwards? If you're stroking down Zendaya, I'm going forward, bro. I'm gonna continue the job. I'm gonna finish the job. Whatever LeBron doing back there ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> You're four inches deep inside of Zendaya, but LeBron's four inches deep inside of you. Are you moving forward or backwards first? Forward. Me personally, I already know which way I'm going, but Tanjiro was just Come like, on. hey, got to see it through, my boy. Come on, that's all I'm talking about. Not tangled, thinking that if he got him up out of there, the demon behind him would just like magically disappear or something. His neck's too hard. I can't slash any further. And the power up from Nezuko's blood just ran out. I'm cooked. Tanjiro, get down. I have a shot. But that don't even matter. Tanjiro already hit. He knows our friend. He made the wrong call and Ganya can't even let a shot off the blick without hitting the collateral on both him and the demon. So all this mm. is going on, bro just spawns in a whole BBC dildo from his right hand and goes on the offensive. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> so Dog completely levels the entire yeah. area and uses wood style jutsu to summon five versions of Teemu Blue Eyes White Dragon. And Tanjiro's just holding on for dear life because these dragons on him dead. He's midair spamming the fuck out of his circle, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch this episode. Until I read one of the this. dragon heads comes through with his mouth open wide as hell, looking like a hungry, hungry hippo ready to swallow this man whole. But mm -hmm. luckily for Tanjiro, Nezuko swooping like Captain Saberho the last second to prevent this man's legs from being chopped off. Because if she went there, bro would have had to pull up to the high school training arc and straight prosthetics looking like these <laughs> wow. before any oh my god honcho you know ball all right so hear me out the ass is so fat that i don't care she don't have two legs she got enough ass to support anything she wants to do in life this would be an interesting combination honestly if i was to hit them shits i would tell her to take the prosthetics off i want to see at max <laughs> And before anybody in the comments asks, would. Come on. Are you serious, my brother? And I don't even want to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. none y'all gotta say. I'm on your team. I know most of y'all degenerate ass niggas would too. So leave me I'm alone. here. <laughs> no but judging. Anyways, these two both land on the ground pretty hard, so Tanjiro rushes over to make sure Nezuko's good. Nezuko, are you okay? <laughs> And then they look up just to see this goofy goober ass dude. nigga with his back turned to the camera trying his hardest to get an off guard for the ground. Like, <laughs> yes, bro, we see the V-Lone logo. Relax. There are literally no holes in the vicinity. I promise you are not getting any poom poom from any of the activities that occur in this forest. Chill. Hey, nah, quick side note. The V-Lone era from a few years back has got to be some of the funniest shit ever. Niggas used to get V-Lone and turn they back on the entire world. <laughs> Was legit out here taking booty pics just to show off that logo. It's me. I'm niggas. Bruh. It's anyways, you, bro? I don't know what what demons doing their free time? But my man's right here must have been going to school to get his PhD in gaslighting because he just got to talking about some. You brutal fiends who torment the weak. You atrocious, offensive, 
despicable creatures attacking someone so small they could fit in the palm of your hand. Damn you, you awful villains. And Tanjiro's not understand just standing what over here in utter shock listening to this man yap like, bro, is this nigga stupid? They literally pulled up to our village to box with us. Bro has to have the IQ of a Q-tip. Eh, he's probably just mad because he's short. You know short people are always angry. Hey, so hey. How tall are you? If you're not 6'5", you short, nigga. Like, for real, for real. I'm tired of people talking about short people. Like, it's not like I'm short or anything. And I'm I'm 6'2 on a good day. He's probably just mad because he's short. You know short people are always angry. So if you forgot, or you just wondering where the short king came from, this is actually just the ultimate version of Pontangle's anger demon who hit a Pokemon evolution to transform into Captain Cornball after Glizzy Goblin and other demons. And now he's just posted up like an Elden Ring boss ready to run a fade. So he just starts wrapping Kaisenat in a wooden ball to protect him. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great I'm sick. The sheer aura from this man's glance alone got Tanjiro standing there like an NPC. Oh, out there looking on. like little baby old press triangle to interact face ass. <laughs> so after this, these boys proceed to have an extended yap session where they just get to roasting each other. Oh, is the widow demon slayer scared? What's wrong? You telling me you got that fat ass Jimmy Neutron forehead, but couldn't even think about using your manners before yelling at a superior being like me? <gasps> I'd expect oh. nothing less from a child. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. You a thousand years old and short as hell. I bet you can't even touch rim. Oh, you talking to me? I can't either. I couldn't focus. I was distracted by that old ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it as hairline. Look, I can put the logo right there. This shit not even that bad. It's not even that bad, bro. Tazro don't look that bad. To be framing him up like this. Look, I can put the logo right there. That's a stretch and you know it, bro. You know that's my scar. That's a stretch and you know it, bro. You know it's my scar. <laughs> What? So after that got done, one of the dragons speed with the time drone to beat this man into the air. There's five wooden dragon heads, and they can expand to about 66 feet. If I'm gonna get close, I need to. Hinakami Kaku! Clear blue! The sexy red song in the back. <laughs> oh, my eardrums burst again. What is with this nigga and listening to sexy red? Y'all, this is like a midstream in 2024. It's not looking too good, bruh. This is like the fifth Sonic Boom Attack Tanjiro's gotten hit with tonight alone. And this shit got him dizzy as hell like he drank something that was offered to him by Rick Ross. Huh. And my man didn't even get a chance to recover before one of the dragons made a beeline straight for him. Tanjiro dodges, but not before getting his ankle broke like he was trying to guard Steph Curry. And now he's just running for his life off straight adrenaline, fucked up ankle and all, because Super Nigga turned into the Avatar, master of all four elements. He is throwing the entire kitchen sink Oh, fuck. Hey, Tanjiro a trooper, though. These attacks are relentless. Like, dog went to get Tanjiro a chance to pop a mini, put on a med kit, nothing. Got this man running away from attacks quicker than Dr. Disrespect runs into the DMs of minors. God can't damn. These attacks anymore. Even if I anticipate them, I can't catch my breath. But if I can somehow get 66 feet away, I'll be out of his attack range. I can do this. Yeah. I. Huh? It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Help me! So the wooden dragon head just full on extends like Mr. Fantastic and throws Tanjiro in the air. And Tanjiro tries using a breathing technique to break free, but before he can even finish, one of the dragons just swallows him whole. Yeah? Did he throw and Tanjiro? Are in complete shock because they think the series might be ending early. But it turns out Tanjiro's alive inside the dragon's guts, but he's slowly getting crushed to death by his gorilla grip coochie. And it looked like the entire gang is on the verge of. Tanjiro is alive in the dragon's guts, and now he's getting squeezed to death by his gorilla grip coochie. That's what Hancho said, y'all. He literally just said that. I just wanted to replay it for y'all to know that this man is wildin'. He's slowly getting crushed to death by his gorilla grip coochie, and it looked like the entire gang is on the verge of seeing game over screens in real life until out of nowhere, Mitsuri shows up majestic as fuck. Big, mm, you know what I'm saying? I like her. Love breathing, fourth form, Jared McCain. I don't even know who that is. Get him off our screen, please. So she ends up saving Tanjiro, and I'll tell y'all right now, I have never been more jealous seeing a nigga get a piggyback ride in my entire life. Kanroji pulled up and legit wasted no time by immediately speed blitzing the demon. Hit a quick little weave and just mm -hmm. lost her dog like her she was a Her movements are so like, fire to me. He did this man's head backwards, giving him and two of the other dragons three cases of lifelong advanced CTE. Hey, this has gone too far. Give me back Nezuko and Genya now. Huh? You talking to me? Yeah. Who else could I be talking to? Why what her you doing sword is evil like a and way out of line. A I'm PP on soft. Why her sword like that? Why is it so <laughs> flaccid? <laughs> why her sword looks like that, bro? I already knew it was designed like that, but why? Why did it design it like that? 
They must know how I be when I watch it. Huh? <laughs> and my shit all out for real. Talking to what you're doing is evil and way out of line. I'm not gonna tell you again. Give me my friends back now. Mm, nah. Only fans detected. Opinion rejected. <laughs> I was Don't tell me you ain't think nobody will find out. And you're selling it for 50% off already? <laughs> Business must not be booming like you thought Send me the would, link. huh? Hancho, come on. Thought you could just wave your little Sydney Sweeney's in the camera and the money would just start rolling in, huh? Yes. That's not at all what... How did you... I mean, Sydney you Sweeney the started cash, a OnlyFans? always hiring. I actually have the job application right here if you want it, you shameless tramp. So Catherine Cornball is literally just roasting the fuck out of Conrochi for looking like she got her OnlyFans. And she wasn't finna let that shit slide at all. So she started getting active in the field like she was playing Madden. Girlie mm. legit had a counter for every attack Rose throwing at her and was spamming love breathing techniques one after the other just going crazy. And Conrochi's finally able to get close after hitting his dash. Oh, she was mad about that OnlyFans thing. Look at what she moving. Check, looking like she's ready to decapitate him. But only Tanjiro Pete's so she finna get hit with. So bro just starts charging his attack. Misery sees this and she was like, it looks like he's charging up something big. But as long as I can decapitate him, I'll be okay. Miss Conroji, that's not the main body. Look up. And I don't even got to tell y'all. That attack hurt. Got Conroji out there looking like her controller batteries died mid-fight. And even Hantangu surprised she survived getting hit at point blank range with that attack because of her muscle density. So off rip, he knows this is top tier snow and he got a munch on it. So he's gonna speed blitz his Conroji, cocking his fist back far as hell, getting ready to hit her with the meanest torture pump of all time. But before he can, we get interrupted by backstory no jutsu where we get to find out about oh, man. life. And she unlike other demon slayers, her family's actually alive. They ain't get packed up by demons. She had a pretty good childhood. Either she gonna die or she about to lock in and get that little mark on her. Let's see which one it is. She had a pretty good childhood and her parents actually love her. I know it's gotta be like 50,000 OnlyFans girls at home punching their screens right now. They can't relate. <laughs> But anyways, Tanjiro, Nezuko, and Genia swooping at the last second to prevent Kanroji from joining Rengoku and Hashira Heaven. So now Mitsuri's posted up for round two with the power of friendship and backstory no jutsu on her side. And y'all already know, this is the two key ingredients any anime character needs to start cooking. She immediately got like a plus 30 boost to all her stats, slicing through all the raw attacks mm -hmm. with ease. And now that Kanroji's Look at this running animation the though. Look at them. She sends the rest of the gang on a mission to hunt down the main body. So these three are just running through the forest looking for Hantangu. And after a while, Tanjiro's able to sniff out his musty ass who's still hiding in a wooden ball. They start attacking it, but the tree bark is tough. They can't even slash through it with their swords. So this is when Genya decides to turn into Phantom and starts devouring everything in sight. And with the powers he got from eating the blue light skin Riz Demon earlier, he was able to completely rush through it like Pac-Man and send the end of it tumbling to the ground. Then Nezuko lights that motherfucker on fire with a blood demon art, and Tanjiro was able to land a few critical hits with his Hinakami Kagura to open it up. But the only issue Teamwork. is, when they look inside, huh? that nigga Hantangu is nowhere to be found. Huh? Hmm? Look at this dude. <laughs> Tanjiro sees Hantangu and gets to tweaking out on this man, bruh. But Hantangu's not trying to stick around and hear any of it. Dog is full on doing the dash. He running away from these boys the same way Discord mods run away from taking showers. So Genya throws a tree. Yes, a motherfucking tree at this nigga. And he somehow dodges. Then Nezuko swoops in trying to slap the STDs off this man's forehead. But Hantangu was just like, Yeah, we quick on that, buddy. And got right back to his cadaver through the forest bruh i'm convinced this little nigga gotta be related to tyree kill or something because they're both short fast as fuck and have terrible haircuts he got tanjiro nezuko and genya in hell trying to keep up with him and not to mention bro's ankle just gave out <laughs> got this man out here hitting poses like he's trying to qualify for the paris olympics <laughs> hey yo this person right here started all this nba ruckus bruh because he talking about some champion world champion or what world champion or what Oh, y'all check me out with a messed up ankle there's no way Tanjiro's gonna be able to catch up to Hantangu right wrong y'all I think it's about time I start a new saying finna go something like when in doubt backstory no jutsu without cuz out of nowhere Tanjiro gets a whole flashback about Zenitsu loosely teaching him the basics of thunder breathing and with this knowledge bro is legit able to turn into the flash zoom past Nezuko and Genya and run up on Hantangu like a crackhead running up to you at the gas station for change <laughs> Did it work? Tanjiro's at his neck and Hantangu's just screaming for his life. And he oh. realizes that if he don't do something quick, he's cooked. So like Bruce Jenner, he said he gonna fuck around and switch. Legit turn from a two millimeter short king to Victor Wembenyama 2.0. And he immediately got to trying to choke the life out of Tanjiro and bro's just astonished. So Genya runs up trying to save the day, but just ends up getting them both blasted with mid again. <laughs> 
Wait, so all of them can do that so little sound attack? Yeah. Lights his ass on fire, and they're able to rip his arms off. And Tanjiro's still trying to take Hantengu's head during all of this, but he can't slash all the way through because this man's neck is thicker than Kirsten too sweet. Wait, anyway, yo, how do you know all these running. bad bitches with ass? Hancho, are you a top flight goner? The fuck? It's thicker than Kirsten too sweet. But anyway, Tango gets to running again. It ends up sending both him and Tanjiro tumbling off the side of the cliff on some Looney Tunes shit. Tango's pretty weak from those attacks earlier, combined with the fact that Mr. Angry is using up a ton of his power fighting Kanroji. So in order to get his strength back, he needs to consume human flesh and he senses some people in the area. So bro's just hitting a brisk morning jog like a neighborhood Karen looking for him. It ends up finding these three doofuses hiding behind these rocks. <laughs> I like bro, I don't know which one of these dumbasses thought that this was a good idea? Their conversation probably went like, oh golly gee, those are some nice looking rocks over there. Let's go hide behind them. Good idea. And their masks are already these stupid. These boys gotta have a combined IQ of a McNugget, bruh. It's no telling me otherwise. Hantangu sees them and they start to run away. So he just starts preying on these niggas the same way Dre and Michelle prays on NBA rookies. Quick side note, Dre, if you seeing this, I volunteer as tribute. Are you serious, my brother? Hey, y'all should know by now. Ain't no shame in my game. But hey, I gotta respect it. I gotta respect it, my boy. You know ball. And I did not know she was like this. I see why they begin these contracts. They begin these nine-month contracts, these 18-year contracts. You know what I'm saying? I see why I wouldn't pull out either. But anyways, Tanjiro gets up and has no idea what to do since he's weaponless. Cause his sword is lodged 19 inches deep inside of Hantangu and he's running away. So this is when he asks huh? the audience at home for help. Hola, soy Tanjiro Kamado and I need your help. This lame ass nigga is running away with my weapon. So now I have no way to behead him. Do you know a way I could still behead him? I know I can give him hmm. head. Oh, I know. Do you guys remember that box I used to carry around Nezuko? Well, I keep other things in it too. And I think my box may have just the thing we need to pack this nigga up. Everybody say, oh, boxy. Oh, boxy. This, this can't be happening. Yo, yo. Hi, everybody. Yo, Hancho, what the fuck do you got going on, bro? <laughs> bro, what? Yo. Boxy. I love it though. Hi everybody, I'm Boxy. Boxy, we need your help to pack up this demon. Do you have anything that could help us? Of course, I have lots of His items. Eyes are Which one do you think sparkling. will work the best? A bag of chips, a sword, or an RPG? There's another sword in there. Again, I'm gonna be borrowing your. Wait, he's an RPG for real? Once, okay. America, break. Fifth form. America breathing. My property, boy. America breathing. <laughs> Honestly, you hilarious, my boy. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. What actually happens is Muichiro pulls up and tosses Tanjiro the sword that he used to pack up Gyoko earlier. So Tanjiro picks up the sword and his inner monologue was like, Put hands on one of them niggas. Hinakami Kagura, total concentration. Bus. Bus. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all that curry? Me that was not clean. Yo, Demon Slayer is top tier. I don't care what nobody say. So I've been one saying that too. Swoop, Tanjiro be headed Hantangu, but the only issue is, even though his head is completely social distanced from the rest of his body, Hantangu was still alive and kicking. And at the time, Tanjiro doesn't even realize this because it's dawn and he's worried about Nezuko because the sun's rising. Is that LeBron, La Sunshine? What the? <laughs> La Sunshine? So Tanjiro's full on rushing to shield Nezuko from the sun, but Nezuko's just telling him to turn around because the three stooges are still in danger because they're getting chased by a headless Hantangu. So Tanjiro turns around ready to rush back in full force to save him, but stops as soon as the sunlight starts burning Nezuko. So of course, he's gonna go back to save Hard his decision, bro. family member, but the swordsmiths are still in danger. And he's just sitting there conflicted because he's faced with a damn near impossible decision. Tanjiro knows he got set up by the writers. This just like when you get left <laughs> with the ugly girl on a two man and your partner wants you to take one for the team. It's a lose lose situation. It you can just see the internal mental breakdown this man is having. He starts looking to his Who friends, pick but that? everybody else is too far away to help, so he knows that he has to be the one to save the villagers. He wants to, but he just can't. He can't leave Nezuko until... 
And y'all, I'm not gonna lie. My first time watching this, I shed MVP, actual bro. tears. That's how invested Nesco I was. Nesco was the realest I'm like, character. I'm like, ain't no way they came this far just for Nesco to go out like that. Had me and that bitch bawling my eyes out like I was watching Same. a Rengoku death scene all over again. But as he's in the air panicking, Nezuko makes a hand motion to Tanjiro as she's getting burnt alive, basically saying, it's all right, don't worry about me. Go handle that shit, bro. And in that very moment with tears in his eyes, Tanjiro strengthens his resolve, staring down Hantangu with the most wicked look in his eyes. So I'm already knowing. This nigga gonna die. Tanjiro hawks this man down, and with one flash, he cut through this nigga's entire body. Bro is running off straight adrenaline. All stats are maxed out at 99, because earlier he couldn't even chop through his neck. But Tanjiro was not done. He split this man in two like Gojo revealing the main body and got to talking spicy. You will atone for your sins. Keep God in your life, fuck nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and with man. that, Demon Tanjiro Sayers was Pete. finally able to finish off Hantangu. And yeah, Tanjiro won the fight, but it was at the cost of everything. Couldn't even celebrate his victory. Bro just fell down to his knees at Walmart crying. Understandably so. But luckily, Demon Slayer hit us with the biggest pump fake, the biggest plot twist of all time. And Nezuko is alive just glowing and the demon the who conquered demon the sun ever conquer the sun mm. you know, when i saw this i kid you not i got to celebrating in my room like i just won an nba championship or something <laughs> not like jason tatum though we did it, we did it! <laughs>